Well, also at that meeting, NATO members are considering their future in Afghanistan. Afghan leaders are pushing for more money, equipment and training to help build self-reliant armed forces to give them a better chance of fighting the Taliban. Caroline Malone reports. <laughs> Afghan leaders say they need $5 billion a year from NATO for security forces. They've been in charge of their own security since taking over from NATO last year. But they still rely heavily on foreign forces, especially while they build an Afghan air force. I joined the army with big dreams, but when I came, I saw many problems. We do not have helicopters or an air force to provide us support. We also lack night vision goggles. If we get wounded, with no air supplies, we will die. At least 30 police cadets were killed when their bus was blown up by Taliban suicide bombers last week. The Taliban has regained control of a number of districts in recent years. There are around 320,000 Afghans in the police and military. Their leaders say they need to be paid, receive better training and be provided with more equipment. <laughs> We are hoping to achieve the assistance of the NATO member countries for the next five years for Afghanistan. The commitments were put together in a framework after signing agreements in the past and should be organized in a way to answer the needs of the fight against terrorism in the present state. NATO troops have been in Afghanistan since 2002, a year after the US began to combat al-Qaeda and the Taliban following the 9-11 attacks. 130,000 mainly U.S. troops were fighting in Afghanistan at the height of the campaign. Since 2015, NATO's role in Afghanistan has been described as a support mission. It remains their largest operation with nearly 13,000 troops from 39 countries. More than half of them are from the U.S. And despite plans to cut back, President Obama says they'll keep more than 8,000 troops there into next year. Other major contributors are Germany, Georgia, Romania, Turkey, Czech Republic, U.K. and Poland. NATO members have to consider problems within Afghanistan's forces. After the security sector faces huge corruption in different aspects. Up to 50% of the security forces are said to be ghost soldiers and there are issues with the appointments and promotions and as well the involvement of senior security officials in illegal mining and also narcotics business. NATO leaders have already agreed to help fund Afghan forces until 2020 but with major security challenges both in Afghanistan and in other parts of the world there's a lot to consider before NATO decides how much to spend in the future. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera. Well, let's talk to Mirwais Yassini. He's an Afghan member of parliament. He joins us now from the Afghan capital, Kabul. Uh, Mirwais Yassini, President Obama recently announced uh, that he wants to keep 8,000 troops in Afghanistan because of what he described as the precarious security situation there. Do you think this is an indication then that the fight against the Taliban has failed? Well, the Taliban, uh, the, the fighting against the Taliban has not failed. Uh, it is progressing, and uh, I would say I would, don't want to present you or to present to the world the very colorful uh, picture of Afghanistan, but we have to uh, admit and we have to confess that the Afghan forces, both ANA and ANP and other security organizations, are fighting very bravely in here uh, in Afghanistan. And we know that, that after the withdrawal of the tens of thousands of troops from Afghanistan, they are still fighting bravely in all fronts in Afghanistan. And I've, earlier I've heard the reports that uh, we have 50% uh, ghost soldiers. I wouldn't agree with that. There are uh, to a certain percentage of the ghost soldiers the government needs to do more in order to repair their troops. But uh, the bravery which the Afghan soldiers are showing is uh, very admirable, and, and, and the world has to confess that. In, 2000, in the end of 2001, beginning of uh, 2002, uh, the arrival of the American forces was not the choice of the Afghans. This was uh, the choice of the international community in the resolution okay. of the, national security, uh, uh, the, the, the United Nations Security Council. Uh, so we, they, are, they are doing good, but it needs steady uh, support by, by the international community, the Afghan okay. national security forces. All right. It does seem extraordinary, though, that Afghan leaders still say they need something like $5 billion dollars a year from NATO to help their forces. I mean, so much money has been poured into Afghanistan already with little effect. Why does Afghanistan need yet more money? It's been 14 years since Allied troops have been there. Well, well, keep, keeping, keeping in mind, I mean, this, was, this is an international war against international uh, terrorism uh, by a tiny uh, uh, combat forces 
of Afghanistan uh, leading this, uh, uh, this war against the menace of terrorism. Even this money is not enough. I mean, if you keep in mind how much it was spent in the previous year, uh, tens of billions of dollars per year. So why not uh, uh, some increased support has to be provided to the Afghan forces? Okay. I mean, this is a dire need. And, 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 and if it's not happen, I mean, the, the international terrorism will be here nourished and, and, and that will be exported and renewed uh, from the scratch uh, to the world. Okay, Middle East, so it is Yassini. a matter of the international uh, security, not only okay. Afghanistan. All right, Middle East, Yassini, thank you very much for talking to Al Jazeera.